In recent years, Kenya has experienced a decline in HIV prevalence. Uh, this has been attributed in part to significant uh, behavioral change and effective government strategies. I recently visited Kenya to find out what are some of the strategies that are being implemented. In the mid-1990s, Kenya declared HIV-AIDS a national disaster. To stem the spike in HIV infections, the government encouraged its research agencies to embark on a vigorous HIV-AIDS medical research campaign. KEMRI, the Kenya Medical Research Institute, is the prime research institution in Kenya, and over the years it's been involved in research in the areas of HIV-AIDS and malaria. Scientists over here say that uh, they are hoping that in one of these days, uh, their ongoing research might produce a new vaccine or medication either for HIV, AIDS or malaria. Dr. Elijah Sungok is a principal research officer at the Kenya Medical Research Institute's HIV AIDS unit. He says the institute is a pioneer in combating HIV AIDS in the region. We are the first people to be able to diagnose that. And uh, arising from that, we started making or developing diagnostic kits which were specific for the particular strains of HIV in this area. Kemri's HIV AIDS laboratory is currently studying the various HIV strains that are prevalent in Kenya. Dr. Songok says the HIV virus is constantly changing and undermining the effectiveness of existing treatment regimens, prevention strategies and even diagnoses. We are trying to monitor to say what is the molecular epidemiology of this HIV virus in this particular region so that we can be able to be ahead in predicting what type of candidate vaccines can be used, what type of antiretroviral drugs will be best for this, and what type of diagnostics will be better. One of the mainstays of the laboratory is diagnosis for children who are born to HIV-infected mothers. Dr. Songok explains. One of the major factors of this particular lab right now is to do diagnosis what is called early infant diagnosis, whereby every child who is born with an infected mother, are collect, samples are collected and brought here. Then afterwards, we do a test, and then afterwards found if they are posted by PCR, then their results are sent to their particular um, clinics or to their doctors. Then they could be able to see if they could be able to treat. According to Dr. Sungok, this is one of the few facilities in the region capable of handling live HIV virus. I will bring you part two of the HIV AIDS research being done at the Kenya Medical Research Institute on the next edition of In Focus.